Okay, so now let's talk about the local world postness of the nonlinear Schrodinger equation. Okay, and now we'll see a theorem about this. If alpha is between um, 1 and uh, 1 plus 4 over n, so the alphas will depend on the dimension. Okay. So uh, then, for all uh, u not in L two, okay, um, we will the, there exists. Let's put it here. Exists t. This time, t will depend on the norm of the initial u not, the dimension. Okay, the lambda and well, alpha. This t positive and um, unique solution u of uh, well the, the of the integral equation. Okay, when we put the the Hamel's uh, principle um, in the um, interval minus d t worth u is going to be where in the continuous minus t t um l2 r n in space but um uh, intersection l r minus t t um i'm sorry this is t uh, no this is okay minus t t um L alpha plus one R N. Okay, this is the space where the solution, unique solution, is going to be, where um, R is equal to four alpha plus one over N alpha minus one. Okay, and moreover, moreover. For all t prime less than t exists uh, a neighborhood B of uh, u not in all two or in such that let's say a function f that goes from B to um, well let's call the star uh, this space okay that um, takes uh, the initial you input the initial and you will have uh, the solution this is going to be Lipschitz Okay. Okay, so let's define the set E of T A is equal to the B's in C um well minus T T L two R N okay intersection um L R minus T T L alpha plus one such that okay the basically the solution space such that um, let's say B T is going to be the supreme minus T T norm of 
be two plus integral minus dt b um r alpha plus one um dt one over r less than equal then a okay always with uh one alpha one plus four over and then r is uh, for alpha plus one over n alpha minus one okay okay so let's see that uh, that for appropriate values of a and d um phi of u naught of u t um okay that is equal to phi of u t um e is equal to e t u naught plus well the do hamel huh? um t minus t prime um i continue here u alpha minus one u t prime e t prime uh, is a const is a, um, a contraction up in e okay Okay, so let's start by seeing this uh, integral of uh, the norm alpha one, alpha plus one, alpha phi. So recall that what we are having inside here is uh, e i t u naught plus i lambda on the integral c o t e i Laplacian t minus t prime. Um, u of minus one, u t prime, d t prime. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to use this uh, bounds that uh, the unitary, the, the the group, unitary group of operators, um, satisfy. Okay. This integral. Is less than equal than the norm of f, an integral of the integral of the norm of e i t minus t prime, followed by a g. Uh, norm q p is uh, less than the integral of g q p and a constant. Okay, satisfying these conditions. Okay. Okay, so using that, we can bound this, and on the other side this. Uh, using both of the properties they showed and uh, uh, and using also Helder's um, inequality we will see that this is less than equal than well, first we found this we knew that this is less than equal than the norm 2 of that was a constant lambda now we bound this we have that um, the norm ut of um, this is uh, after the value inside alpha r prime alpha plus one over alpha dt one over r prime okay okay and this is less than equal to c u plus c lambda on c of t here i forgot the c of t and now we will just uh take the exponent outside and that makes that we have a alpha r prime the norm of alpha one 
dt 1 over r prime, okay? Uh, where the hypothesis that 1 alpha 1 plus 4 over n, we have that alpha r prime is less than r, and that is that uh, alpha r over r minus 1 is less than r, or uh, alpha is less than r minus 1, and according to the definition of r, this is for alpha plus 1 over n alpha minus 1, all minus 1. So now with this we can bound the original integral. Uh, we finally can say that this, following this uh, this road, um, is less than equal than c. You not to c lambda, and now we're going to have a constant. It depends on time. T to the theta, and I will say what theta is. Zero T on U alpha plus one. Now we have R here. DT alpha over R. Okay. Um, where theta is equal to one minus N alpha minus one. Or this is positive. So. Recall that here we've changed alpha r prime by r and also exchanging this we got alpha over r in place of 1 over prime and we obtain a constant that depends of these values and of t of course. So if now we say that u is in eta then we can bound uh, this by we can bound this by a to the alpha. Okay. Recall that if a, a b was in E T A, then it will be in a well in a, it will be in a set that the bus intersection of two of a continuous function of L R. But also, we have that the norm that was the supreme of minus tt of something like this will be less than or equal to a. And here we've got an extra alpha, okay? So we probably can bound this uh, using that if u it is in et. Okay, so we obtain this bound. We can make a similar thing for. Uh, uh, bounding the phi in the uh, norm 2, looking for the supreme in 0 and t, we can bound it uh, in the same way, using similar tools that we already saw. Which we will have a similar um, result bound, okay, with here having a norm of u of uh, r prime okay um, alpha plus one over alpha et okay we have to have uh, one over r prime and this will be a similar bound c uh, unit c lambda again t theta a alpha okay okay so having both bounds. Now we can finally say that the norm that we have associated to ETA is less than equal than U naught two plus C lambda T theta A alpha C depends only on alpha and the dimension n. Okay, so we continue the demonstration in next part, next video.